Oh, that whole meat to me. I can't even see. We're definitely giving rich vibes to Zay. We're definitely giving money. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely giving that energy, you know? Because that's the life that we live. Okay. You know, I told my friend that today just gives me like, oh shoot, hold on. Today just gives me like, you know, Life is good, you know? Life is great. Life is... Life is meant to be lived. Not stressed. Okay? So, at what point are you going to start living life? Okay? Because, baby, bills will never stop. Bitch, please. They'll never stop. People being jealous and envious will never stop. It will never stop. So I think I want to go ahead and do Virgo's fairy news on live because I can really just kill two birds and one stone and download this. And then put it on YouTube so I don't have to record it later on YouTube. So I can go ahead and do it while I'm out. So I can go by my day. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and just talk about what's going to happen in Virgo season. What Virgos need to know. The energy where you have Virgo in your chart. The energy that you will be experiencing. So the key focus during this time will be Virgos, Pisces. Aries and Libra, those will be the four signs that are going to have the most effects right now. Now, if you're an earth sign, y'all in a whole will be going through all types of um, releasing, but in, in actuality, the signs that are the most prominent are Virgo, Pisces, Aries, and Leo. I mean, Aries and um, Libra, excuse me, Aries and Libra. So first things first, Virgos, you know, it, 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 you, you kind of see when you finally tell God what you want and you finally allow him to basically take you do different things, you got to see it through, my boy. And I just feel like there's a lot of Virgos that are finally seeing it through. They're finally realizing, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I, I clearly can't change it. I can't fix it. Clearly, I realized that I'm not in control. So it has put Virgos in, a, in, in an energy of surrender. Why fight against the current? As The more you fight, the more you drown. Okay? The more you fight, the more you drown. So I ask you this, and I ask you this very boldly. Bitch, do you want to die? Like, to me, drowning would be probably one of the worst ways to, to end the life. Because just the slow process of water filling up your body and filling up your lungs and you literally gasping for air and then you coming back, you, 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 you faint and you coming back. So that's what I felt like was going on for Virgos. Do you want to, do you want to drown, bitch? Because you fighting against heavy water and everybody knows water is one of the most powerful, powerful uh, land thingies or whatever the fuck they're called. The one of the most powerful environmental things that we have. That's why I said this was a season of King of Cups and Queen of Cups energy. If you can't handle the water, bitch, you can't handle the land. You can't handle the air. 
You can't handle you can't handle nothing. Hell. And it's funny because I had been seeing so many videos on my TL about babies getting swim lessons. And what was happening is the instructors were basically saying, like, all right, let's learn the float, let's learn the float, let's learn the float, let's learn the float. And the babies was doing all their crying and they was floating. The last, it's funny because I would see them in series. The last baby video that I saw, the baby was crying the whole time. By the time the baby started floating, he went to sleep while floating. That's what Virgos had to go through. Y'all had to go through all that fighting the current, fighting against what's going on. A lot of y'all, my thing with a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all tried to save face. There, a lot of y'all tried to save face. You didn't want to look like the bad guy. You didn't want to be deemed as the bad guy. But you not trying to be the bad guy is what made them people was literally bringing you further down in the water. Further down in the fucking water. They were anchoring you to literally where you couldn't, you were trying to release. It's the same thing when Harry Potter was in the water and the people was trying to drag Harry Potter down or whatever. You have to release to be able to float. You can't have too much weight on you. That's why people, they, they, when, they, when they jump in the water, that's why they finally let go of their book bag. They finally let go of their air pack. They finally let go of the clothes. They finally let go of the shoes. They let go of anything that will weigh them down. So, I'm saying, how long was it going to take you to realize that those people that you had, that you were trying to save face from because you didn't want to look like the bad guy for finally doing what you want to do and doing what's best for you? Like, a lot of y'all have a guilty conscience that is actually a sign of manipulation of others. You don't have a guilty conscience based off of your self decisions. You have a guilty conscience based off the manipulation of others. It's sickening. It's embarrassing. Hey, y'all. It's embarrassing. And I just think there has been a point in time where I feel like Virgo season is definitely giving me villain error. It's definitely giving me villain error. And for some of y'all, this is take two. This is take two. You was in your villain error, and people started to butter you up like everything was going to change. See, this is what happened. You got real, you got real, you got on your bully shit. You got on your bully shit. And then the people that you had to be bullies with, they decided that they was going to, I can change and I'll do better. That was their manipulative tactic because they realized that they were losing control over you. They were losing control over you. They they threw they threw you a donut to save you, knowing damn well they was the same reason you were drowning in the first place. I'll change. We can work on this. We'll, 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 we'll do better in the workplace. We'll give you more money. Yes, 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 yes. I'll fix this. No, and see what happened was, and I'm not going to cap. You should be ashamed of yourself for actually giving them people a second chance, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to hold you to it. I'm not going to hold you to it. Hold on. Cause I know my AirPods is on. Hold on y'all. I need to put my AirPods in. I, I'm, I'm, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. But I ain't gonna hold you to it too hard. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drag you. But you're ashamed of yourself. Because ooh, what ooh, how many fucking times people gotta show you that they gonna show their ass? They don't and, and, and what's crazy is the people that have shown their ass with y'all, oh baby, they've shown their ass more, more than once, more than twice, more than three times. They show their ass completely. And you Virgos, y'all, y'all didn't want to be the bad guy so fucking bad that y'all let them people show out. And not only did they show out, they showed out and then tried to make it seem like you was the issue in front of other people. Mm-hmm. 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 You you seen it real them behind closed doors. 
Same thing with coworkers. You told the boss about something, but in front of the boss, the coworker's like, you know what? We can work this out. We 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 can we can get this together. When the boss is not around, that bitch is talking crazy. She doing shit. She she messing the count up. She stealing money. She trying to make it seem like it's you. Oh yes, that is exactly what was been happening to you, Virgos. Mhm. Mhm. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Yeah. Fool me three times, you're a dumbass. You're a dumbass. Okay? And I just, you know, I just think that at this point in time, I'm just glad that you guys decided to say, you know what? I'll be the bad guy. It's funny because I was getting my nails done and um, we was, you know... The girl, the girl was playing music in the in the suite or whatever. She was playing music, and you know, every song was just playing, and I wasn't really paying the songs no attention. But it got to that song by Nicki Minaj, that Fraction song. She was like, "I did the mom thing, I did the mother thing, I did this, I did that." You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know now I'm deemed as the bad guy. See, you did the friend thing, you did the girlfriend thing, you did the boyfriend thing, you did the wife thing, you did the husband thing, you did the you did you did the daughter thing, you did the son thing, you did the niece thing, you did the nephew thing, you did all that. And it still didn't work. No people still made an ass out of you. They made an ass out of you. And and, and I'ma have to I'ma have to make sure I put emphasis on this, Virgos, because I can't, I'm not going to, see, I don't, I don't want you to be in a scenario of, but it was them, but it was them, but bitch, they wouldn't be able to do that if you would, if you would have sub, if you would have subtracted yourself from the situation. See, I could, I could be blaming them. I could be putting, telling them that they are fucking mentally ill. I could have been saying that, but how can I tell them that they're mentally ill and you sitting right next to them? You want me to cuss people out and you sitting right next to them. How the fuck that look? Two dumbasses flock together. Fuck on somewhere. I don't want to hear that, Virgos. You needed to start doing things that made sense. And what y'all was doing, it ain't make no sense. Y'all the type to be like, you know, um, you know, uh, I know, I know he cheat and uh I know he don't treat me right, but We've been together for seven years, so I just know we're going to get it together. You like it, I love it. You like it, I love it. And see, what really happened is, if you want me to be honest with y'all, y'all had people around you telling you to get up out the situation. Your intuition was telling you to get up out the situation. You saw signs and synchronicities telling you to get out the situation. And due to the fact of that you the situation or the people weren't getting you out of it completely you wanted somebody to get you out the situation for you you wanted the shit to work out by itself you just wanted it to you wanted people to just leave but when people are attached to you out of toxicness they not going nowhere they not going nowhere when when the job is doing you wrong you think the job just going you y'all was waiting on jobs to fire you they're not going to fire you. You were never the issue. Why would they fire you? You waiting on your problems to be solved for you. That's not how it was going to work, Virgos. You have to solve your own problems. You're grown. Grow up. This is what this was teaching you. And your sister sign is Pisces, and Pisces is the grandfather. So grow up. All that bark, no bite. All, all, all that, all that, all those goals, all those goal-oriented thoughts, and still ain't made no goals yet. Talking about you want to be in a happy family, and you with a whole, a whole asshole. Talking about you want to be a better entrepreneur, but you ain't did shit yet. What, what, what going on? So, I cut some of y'all out because some of y'all are still in these predicaments. I tell the truth about some of y'all because some of y'all have finally realized it. You've realized it. So, how does it feel to finally be free? That is what Virgos are about to feel in this season. That's what the energy of the collective is about to feel in this season. It's freedom. Welcome to being free from bullshit. 
a lot of y'all got a feeling of freedom. This is this is what I mean by saying a lot of y'all y'all went back twice. This this is your second bad. This is your second villain error. Your first time. The first time you got you went in your villain error. You got by yourself. You got scared. You got scared. You're so codependent that you had to run back to the bullshit. You got scared. You, you, you were so nervous and you were so codependent that when you finally got a sniff of peace, are things calm? Oh no, this ain't right. I got to go back to the bullshit. That's crazy as fuck. It's crazy as fuck. That's why I always told Virgos, I told Virgos back in, I think, either Aries season or Taurus season, I said, you guys were going to be Jada Waiter. And people didn't understand what I meant by that, but you know, the whole Jada Waiter thing was all about authenticity. You guys were going to be accepted for your authenticity, but see, the only way you can be accepted to be in a certain position is if you actually put yourself out there in that way. You want people to accept the toxic version of you? You see how that got you, right? You see where that got you? You see the people that you had around you where you weren't your true authentic version of you? How, who, who did you attract during this cycle? Who did you attract? And that's why I said during Virgo season, the highlight of the, of the fucking people is Aries, Libra, Pisces, and Virgo. That's the first house, which is yourself, how people see you. It's the seventh house, which is your relationships, the relationships with you and other people. Virgo, that's the sixth house. That's your home. That's your self-evaluation. That's everything of the work. The twelfth house, that's your sole purpose. So, when there's a lack of authenticity, do you see what type of chaos it brings, Virgos? You be surrounded by fake shit. You be surrounded by fake shit. And what do you realize at the end? Congratulations, you played yourself. You played yourself. A lot of y'all have made mistakes that have put you in financial troubles. Yeah, a lot of y'all were attached to people that were holding money back from you. A lot of y'all people had resources and money that was originally yours and they took it from you. A lot of people have hid resources from you. A lot of people have literally smiled in your face and snaked you behind your back they basically stole the lighter from you and then was looking for the lighter with you a lot of y'all's relationship with money is about to become extremely more healthy because let me tell y'all something A lot of people have helped y'all and they didn't help you with a pure heart. They helped you out of guilt and manipulation. So basically, you're now, you, the, another reason why a lot of y'all were stuck in positions is because you felt you owe people things. And I'm telling you now, you think you owe people things and in reality, you've already paid your debt with them. It's, it, I don't give a fuck if you owe them twenty thousand dollars. They gonna get that shit. They gonna have to get it back in blood because they never even gave you that twenty thousand dollars out of love. They gave you that shit out of manipulation, out of having one up over you. So at any given time you tried to leave, they played that manipulation of I look what I've done for you. Look what I've done for you. Throw the rock, hide the hand. Bitch, you didn't do that shit out of love. You did that shit out of survival. There's a lot of Virgo men and, and, and men that have Virgo in their chart that were dealing with women that when they got into a sticky situation, those women helped them in that sticky situation because they knew that they were their ticket to stability. So you think you found you a ride or die and in reality, if you wanted me to be fairly honest with you, that bitch is the reason why you didn't have no fucking money in the first place.
There's a lot of Virgo women. You guys have helped men and those men as well. They found stability in you. There's a lot of Virgo women where you guys were so heavy in your masculine energy that you kept attracting feminine energy in men and women, family, whatever. You were so in your masculine that you thought you were being a woman by nurturing and caring. And in reality, you were being somebody's provider. Yeah. That's why now that you don't have no fucking money, you're so stressed. Because God is going to be providing for you. Welcome to being a real woman. Congratulations. You were never supposed to be in that position of, 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 of providing in the first fucking place. But see, it came from a place of not getting everything that you wanted as a child. So you decided that I'm going to get that shit out the mud by myself. I'm not saying you shouldn't work hard, but there's a certain point in time where working hard becomes it, it becomes by any means. And by that any means, it puts you where you put other people's wants, needs and emotions before yours. And how does that how does that leave you drained, broke, unhappy? You can't give from a cup that ain't got shit in it. It don't work. It don't work. So this Virgo season, I would like to just go ahead and say, step up in the villain era. We're all black. Death to your own funeral. I mean, attend to your own funeral. Because this is the end of you. This is the end of this version of you. Whether you like it or not. There's a lot of you guys that aren't going to listen and you're going to do what you want to do. And hey, I support you. But you're going to basically struggle. You're going to basically be like what I talked about at the beginning about the water and you drowning. Do you want to die that way? And when I say the water, it's really the emotions. Those That's what's really been fucking y'all up this entire season. This entire year. The last, I'd say the last three years. That's what's really been fucking Virgos up. Virgos were, were drowning in emotions of should they save themselves or should they save other people? So, I want everybody to pay attention to what's going on in the world and in the environment because the environment right now is definitely giving that energy off. It's giving that energy of, are you going to save yourself? And I keep telling y'all, it's every man for himself right now. You can help when you need to help, but you can only help what you can give. Stop over giving and overcompensating people. This is Virgo's fairy news, so this will go on YouTube. The lives that I did yesterday, they're on YouTube now. They're on YouTube now. I put those on there. It's uh, be be the clay. I did. I put both those lives that I did yesterday. I put them on YouTube. So, um, another thing that I want everybody to pay attention to during this season. You know, it, it would just really be best for you guys to start journaling. And, you know, when you journal, you don't have to, it don't all have to make sense. A lot of y'all need to, um, is it called free writing? Scribing? I don't know. Whatever that thing that you do when you, when y'all just write shit that you hear in your head, whatever the fuck that's called. A lot of y'all need to start investing in that. You'll see a lot of, um, is that a turtle? I think that's a turtle. See, and that's what I mean. The turtle literally had his head under, over water. And then he went back down. That's fucking crazy. Um, a lot of you guys, y'all need to do that. Y'all need to, um... Y'all need to do that. Y'all need to free write or free scribe, whatever it is. You, whatever you hear in your head, whatever you hear in your heart, you need to just write it down. Free writing. Thank you so much. I knew I, I knew it was called free writing or something like that. A lot of y'all need to look into start doing that. Y'all 
Due to the fact of that Virgo season is all about things being very magnetically drawn to you and basically like, you know, I told y'all, it's like you're going to attract it. Everything's going to come in. That's what I mean by I said that a lot of y'all had that toxic masculinity energy within you. Toxic femininity in you. A lot of you guys have healed the feminine energy just enough to where you're, that's why I said you're about to be in the masculine energy. Now your masculine energy is safe. Your masculine energy is safe to express the emotions. It's safe to be confident about what you do. So therefore, you're going to be the bad guy. You're going to be the bad guy. I'm just, I'm just going to get y'all prepared. This season, y'all going to be the bad guy. But you know what? This, You know what's going to be different from this time you're being the bad guy and last time you being the bad guy? Last time you was being the bad guy and God made you do it on your own, you couldn't handle it. God God wanted to see how you was going to handle it. He knew you, he knew you wasn't going to fully do it. That's why he put, he put you back. That's why he still let those people around you and stuff like that. That's why I said this season, divorces are final. Breakups are final. Jobs are final. Things are friendships. It's final. There, there isn't no more test runs, test drives. Like that's it. The, the cords cut. Karmic things are done. Like, and when I say karmic things are done, it's basically like whatever cycle was attacked. That's why I say it's, it's death to your own funeral. Now, does this mean that you're going to be in a happier life and problems won't come? No. But see, this is death to the old version of you that didn't know how to take on the responsibility of your emotions and your own actions. Because see, earth, the earth signs are feminine energy. So how is a feminine energy overall so much in a masculine role and failing miserably? You're naturally more giving, receiving. That's your natural state. That's why a lot of y'all, when you got love, when you got love and when you got support and when you got the peace, you didn't know what to deal with it. You, I mean, you didn't know how to deal with it. So that's why I tried to tell people there were things, y'all. a lot of people experience love that they probably will never experience again. So, and then the people that you are now the bad guy and you have now healed those things and you've learned those lessons. Now, when God presents you with the opportunity, with the job, the opportunity with the lover, the opportunity with the friends. That's why I kept telling y'all, can, can God give you something for a second? And it's funny because on TikTok, it was this girl she posted. She was like, I know this isn't a worship song, but this song does something to my spirit. That Yeba's heartbreak. How many times have I told y'all about that Yeba's heartbreak? Show my love for you. Can I show my love for you? You might not know why, where you're going, but I do, I do, I do. All of the times that you were not chosen, I'll make it up to you. He about to make that shit up to you. God about to make up all that shit. The relationship that a lot of y'all are going to be getting into, dead serious. The relationships that a lot of y'all are going to get into, boy, when I tell you, this is when I tell you, you and that person, boy, 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 boy. And y'all going to co-create like a motherfucker. There's going to be a lot of babies conceived. In Virgo season and Libra season. Oh boy, y'all just gonna be humping like rabbits. A lot of y'all about to be practicing safe sex magic. And boy, are y'all about to just create shit during because it's 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 not just the sexual encounter, it's the intimacy, it's the energy of the emotions, it's the giving and receiving. A lot of y'all are about to have ideas for businesses and 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 just all that type of thing. I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell you, oh boy, this is a season of conception. This is a season of conception. Mm -hmm. Even planting to even planting seeds with friends. This is a season of conception, even with friends. You guys are about to y'all, you guys are about to create a baby of friendship. Y'all both are gonna put into it. There's a I'm telling you, a lot of y'all are matching up with like it might be two women, but like let me like Thank you for confirmation. Thank you for confirmation. 
there are people where you guys are like it, it, it's like two women these are friends this is just just think about it with friends one is dominant but it's more dominant in feminine energy and one is dominant in more masculine energy but both people have become balanced so even though they're dominant masculine energy, they know how to go between both. This little girl is in pink and that color pink has been popping up so much. Like that's literally been my aura lately is pink. And like you guys are going to meet your match. So where you used to where you used to be in the different role and you were in that role based off trauma. So you attracted the other side of that out of trauma. Now you're about to attract the healed version. I have a lot of fire in my chart. I'm dominantly like a lot of fire. Like, I mean, not a lot of fire. I'm a dominant, a lot of masculine energy, but I had to learn to get out of my masculine and get in my feminine and, and balance them out. So now I have healed masculine and healed feminine, meaning that, my friends normally are a lot of feminine energy, but they have now mastered their feminine energy and they've mastered their masculine energy. So the times that I am having a very like, you know, like I'd say I call them girly moments. They step into their masculine of giving me encouragement, giving me a safe place to, for me to express myself, giving me a safe place to feel comfortable, confident. You see what I'm saying? Y'all never had that before. And when y'all got it, it was you felt very insecure when you got it you felt undeserving you felt you felt very like belittled you felt lo like you weren't good enough you felt you weren't good enough so now that you're gonna get you're gonna you're at a healed point enough to where you can now do it so you can now continue to grow and that's why i'm saying like a lot of y'all you never are fully healed. So a lot of y'all have just been healed enough to where you now can receive better relationships, better friendships, better job opportunities, because you now are at a level to be able to handle it. You can handle everything that's about to come to you now. That's why I told y'all, like, you having an insecure moment or you overthinking and shit like that during Virgo season, because Virgos overthink, you're going to put yourself in a hole because I'm trying to tell you, you can get reassurance from people, but people are not going to... They're not going to continue to baby you through your thoughts. They're going to tell you the truth and it's going to come out of love. And that's it. If you decide to overthink and I don't think that's what she meant and, and taking things personal, you're going to, you're going to psych yourself out of a good opportunity or a good friendship or a good relationship. You're going to fuck that up. You're going to self-sabotage. So it's, that's why I keep trying to tell y'all like, are y'all ready for y'all? Are you ready? Are you honestly, truthfully ready for God to give you a reward? Because a lot of y'all, I can feel a lot of anxious energy, like your heart be beating. Because things are coming to you, and I feel like you're you're mistaken. Sirens just went off. Thank you, Spirit. I feel like a lot of you guys are mistaking your excitement for fear. What are you scared of? A lot of you guys, the hard times are over. Will tough times come? Yeah, but now you know how to handle it. So it's really not that bad. Oh, no. See, I keep seeing these carpenter ants. And the way they keep pulling up on me, I don't really care for that. Okay? So let's let's just... Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's keep it cute. Let's keep it cute. Quit rolling up on me like that. Okay? Damn, I be telling God about that, man. Like, come on, man. You can't just be having them roll up on me like that. Damn. All right. My bad. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is showing y'all, I told y'all, a lot of y'all, you get so excited with friendships and that's how y'all end up in those trauma bonds. The relationship, the relationship starts so powerful, but it be off, it be off lust and trauma. A lot of y'all are coming out of that. It's too good to be true. It ain't too good to be true. You deserve it now. You can deal with it now. You can handle it now. It's exactly what it is. If somebody was to come and, and give you $100,000 right now, and you'd be like, oh, no, no, thank you. No, it's okay. You don't have to. Everything that you guys receive right now, you just need to say thank you. Because you're going to feel that it's being given to you in a nice way. You're not going to feel like somebody was doing it out of control anymore. Those times are over. 
when you know that somebody is doing some shit out of ill intent, something in your spirit going to feel weird. You're going to be like, and you're going and, and your your first reaction is going to say no thank you. When you are knowing that it comes from a godly person, you're going to you're going to have all these emotions. People aren't going to make you feel guilty for doing what it is. So it's just like y'all walk into this season to where you feel you're not deserving and God gives you something. God is really going to look at you like, are you serious? You cried for this and not as how you acting when you get it. Are you serious? Are you serious? Be fucking for real. Oops. Be fucking for real. You see the wind blowing? You're going to knock all that shit over. I need this to stay up. There we go. He gonna knock all that shit over. Just like, just how he just knocked that shit over. Just knock that shit over. So some of the things I want you guys to look out for, like I said, I want you guys to look out for the people that I said in that reading that I did yesterday, I think. I want you guys to look out for people that are coming because you're in a new season. I told you, people can't deal with you. See all these flies just coming out of nowhere? See, get out my fucking business and stay out by everybody else's business. You trying to come around now that you feel something sweet, okay? Pay attention to people that are coming. Pay attention to people that are coming to you because you're no longer in a season of sadness, lack, fear. You're now in a season of happiness. You're now in a season of peace. Pay attention to the people that want to come now. Okay? Um, there is a focus on money, but there, the focus on money is to be in a flow of money. You need to start saying money, money, money affirmations. That will be a huge focus in Virgo season, money affirmations, because you guys are really about to learn what it means to give and thou shalt receive. You're about to see the real things of everything I spend comes back to me tenfold. You're about to you're about to understand what it means to say, God, please, God, I ask that you give me so I can give more to others. As much as I get, I give. You're about to see that. You're about to see things of tenfold. You're about to see it. Money is attracted to me. Money's comfortable me. Money is lo money loves me. Money trusts me. That's that's why I said Virgo season. The word for Virgo season is trust. If money don't trust you, you'll see what happens when money doesn't trust you. What the fuck is going on over there? Hmm. Being nosy. Um. Yeah, you'll blow it on bullshit. Um. Y'all remember what I told y'all a couple of days ago? I told y'all last week. Make sure y'all paying attention to the banks. Get your money. Go go go. Do a little research on a different bank. Okay, just go do your research on a different bank. Um. Keep drinking a lot of water. I know I always tell y'all that, but when I tell y'all, God is really putting emphasis on the water. He is really putting emphasis on the water. He is really putting emphasis on the water. You need to be drinking water in the house when you wake up in the morning, before you go somewhere, like something about it, because you're going to have to be in a flow of everything. So water is helping you flow. Water helps nourish your, your mind, your body and your soul. What is going on over here? 
Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Virgo season, there's going to be a lot opening up with the heart chakra, the throat chakra, and the crown chakra. Those will be the three chakras that you'll be working on. Why will you be working on those? Because of the fact of these are spiritual chakras. Your physical chakras have already gone through what they need to go through. That's why I told y'all, now you're going to have to trust yourself because now you're stable. Now you're emotionally balanced. Thank you for confirmation. Now you're confident. So therefore now you just need to make sure your mind, your throat, and your heart are saying are all on the same accord. Um... Travel is going to be something big in Virgo season. There's going to be a lot of adjustments to the traveling. I don't know everything just yet, but I can feel something about the traveling. You know what I honestly feel like? I honestly feel like the like that rule that they made about having to refund people for shit. I just feel like a lot of people are going to be more giving in this season. They're going to be way more giving in this season. And they're going to be giving people what they deserve. It's going to be on their hearts to just give people what they deserve. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't pull up on me like that. All these fucking bugs. Okay, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't know. I'll probably do a part two when I get home. But those are all the downloads that I can think of right now for Virgo season. Yeah. I need to go sit outside. I need to go sit outside. Fast. Real fast. Like, y'all need to sit outside at least 30 minutes a day. Definitely when you're having a time of overwhelming emotions, I would definitely recommend that you go sit. I mean, you go stand in the grass. If y'all haven't played in the rain yet, I would advise that you go play in the rain. Intimacy will be a really big thing in Virgo season as well. Intimacy is all types of forms. So if you don't know how to receive intimacy, have intimacy, you, you'll be working on that. You'll be working on how to be more intimate with people and things and just, just the overall intimacy. Because the number one rule of having intimacy, intimacy with people is trust. You have to trust them to feel intimate with them. That's why y'all have a lot of y'all, y'all, y'all have decided to be in intimate situations with people that y'all don't even trust and that 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 is just that's really dumb as fuck um i'm trying to think i think that's it i feel like it's more but my witcher call is about to die and i don't want to lose this live because i want to be able to upload it so yeah, I think that's it. So, I love you guys. Go sit outside. Enjoy yourselves. Happy Thursday. Mwah.